Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Taco Kamabi here and this is your rapid review. So today I have something very interesting to review. The kind folks at Zebith actually sent me this review unit and uh, it's called the Zebith TriScreen version 2. Now I have the full detailed analysis of this review up on my blog at www.smaku.com. So this companion video serves as a summary of that blog review. So let's get into it. Zebek did send me this review unit for review purposes, but this video is not sponsored by them, nor am I getting paid to do this, and all opinions are my own. So what is the Zebek TriScreen version 2? Well, there's actually two extra monitors that anyone can attach to any laptop to increase their screen real estate. And who doesn't like increasing their screen real estate? Well, this is the actual unit right here, and you can see by the way I'm holding it, it's actually fairly light at less than two pounds. So very convenient to actually hold with your laptop in uh, your bag as well. So how do you engage this, and what exactly is it? So it's actually, all you need to do is pull on the two tabs here, just like so. Now you have actually two monitors that can attached to pretty much any laptop. So I have now my Mac, my 14 inch MacBook Pro here. I raise the monitor just like that. I stretch this out and I just attach it just like that. And there you go. The TriScreen 2 is actually now attached. Now to support the MacBook Pro monitor and not stress the hinge, they have a kickstand here that you can engage on the back. So now it's actually resting on the kickstand itself. With the latest version of the MacBook Pros, you can actually attach the monitors with just one USB cable per monitor. So all we need to do here is now USB attachments on the bottom there. I have an attachment right on my MacBook here. And let's try the other side right here and attach it right here and just like that once you turn on your MacBook Pro it powers on the ZBook monitors as well and within like 10 seconds I'm up and running with three screens on my uh, MacBook Pro. Now you can adjust the screen to your liking so you can go back and forth. It does not tilt up or down so that is one improvement that I'd like to see in a future version. So on each monitor itself, on the bottom you have two USB-C ports on the bottom and a HDMI port as well. On the top you have menu, uh, on-screen menu buttons that you can adjust the brightness and contrast, saturation and so forth. I have to say though, working like this is actually pretty handy. Uh, if I'm working on a blog, I can have one screen uh, completely dedicated to my Safari browser then on my other screen, I'll have a browser for my images in Lightroom. And on this screen, I may have my notes section or additional uh, documents that I need to create my blog post. So there's all sorts of different opportunities for anyone to cater to their own workflow that is actually pretty handy to have two extra screens. Now I did try this tri-screen out in both indoor and outdoor scenarios and I have to say it actually holds up in, uh, in both scenarios quite well. It's not as bright as the actual MacBook Pro monitors so it does get a little bit dimmer when you're viewing it outside but it's nonetheless still usable in many circumstances and uh, I had no issues with it actually dealing with the sunlight uh, outdoors and in indoor environments. Just as a note as to why the Zebic tri-screen is called that, I know some people will get confused with the tri-screen and the only reason why it's called tri-screen is that it actually creates three screens out of the laptop monitor that it attaches to. The product itself is actually only two screens so I can see where the confusion may lay but just note that difference. So a couple things to note here regarding the construction first of all. It is made out of hard plastic, but I can appreciate why they did this at the uh, expense of portability and weight. So weighing less than two pounds is actually quite convenient to be able to hold this and carry it around wherever you go. Um, second is the brightness of the monitors could be a little bit brighter 
uh, in my opinion. And uh, the third, I wish that the, each, each screen could actually tilt a little bit up or a little bit down uh, depending on the user's needs. So if I were to actually stand up and work on my laptop, uh, I would prefer to actually have the monitors to be able to swing a little bit up upwards so I can actually see directly what I'm looking at on my monitor. Think of something like the LCD screens on the latest mirrorless cameras. They actually can tilt and swivel around whichever way you please. Packing it up is actually just as easy as uh, setting it up. You just do the reverse. All you need to do first, unplug the monitors from the laptop, take the cables out, and you can disengage the kickstand and just make sure this goes inside. Oops. And pull this inside. And just like that, now I can either take the ZBIC off like that, or if you want more actual convenience, I can actually just carry my entire MacBook Pro laptop and the ZBIC just like this. It actually fits in any of my camera bags and uh, I can just take it with me just like that and engage it whenever I need it. So overall, what do I think about the ZBIC Tri-Screen version 2? I think it's actually a great addition to anybody's workflow who is interested in increasing their screen real estate by double the amount, pretty much. And um, it actually can improve on your workflow efficiency. And if you're out, uh, if you're the busy type that actually goes out traveling a lot, uh, you're living the van life, or you're just a busy person uh, with a laptop in hand at all times, you can use the tri, uh, the tri screen by ZBEC in any scenario, whether it's in a coffee shop, out in your vehicle, or even out at a local park, as I was just testing it out recently. So definitely keep that in consideration. And uh, if you do need something like this, uh, I would definitely recommend you look into the ZBEC TriStream version 2. So that's it for this review of the ZBEC TriStream version 2. I hope you've enjoyed it. The full detailed review, again, is available on my blog at smaku.com or I'll link it in the captions below. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in my blog or the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them to my ability. Thanks so much for watching this and I hope to see you again.